what does the vaccine do? To put it in a very simple way, the vaccine tricks your body into thinking that the COVID-19 virus and the sp protein spikes that cause the disease is in your body. It tricks your body into thinking that the vaccine, that the virus is in your body so that your body's immune system can start fighting it or mounting a response to it as we speak. And more importantly, it tells your body, it gives your, your immune system memory to remember that virus should that virus attack your body sometimes in the future. That is basically how vaccines work. Um, they go into your cells, they allow your cells to code for the vaccine, for the protein spikes, and you start building an antibody um, um, for that, for that uh, virus. Now, as to the question as to whether or not it prevents you from getting the disease, what happens is the vaccine will not prevent the virus from being lodged in your nostrils or your pharynx or your sinuses or your lungs. It doesn't prevent the virus from coming in there. What it does prevent is the virus causing you to be sick. So in other words, someone who's vaccinated can actually still carry the virus with them. For this reason, it is important that you still quarantine because you may be able to pass that virus on to somebody else. I must say, however, that this particular matter is currently being studied. The WHO and other scientists are currently looking in to see whether or not the amount of virus that you hold on you still, whether or not that is sufficient to cause someone else to become ill with the, with the virus. When that data comes out, we will be able to better tell uh, the need for quarantine or not. But until, until such time, uh, the status quo remains. And let me go further to say what, what uh, uh, PS is referring to. There's a, currently a study going on in the UK in which individuals who have received their second dose of AstraZeneca have volunteered and are receiving uh, uh, the infection of COVID-19 so that the scientists can study the effects. The preliminary information, now remember, this is preliminary and it still has to go through what's referred to as peer review. So it's put out there for all of the other scientists to look at, criticize or, 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 or comment or agree on. The preliminary information is showing uh, that, that the virus dies much faster in somebody who's vaccinated. What is trying to be determined is how much faster. So with respect to the quarantine, if somebody is vaccinated, will they have to spend the same time of quarantine or will they have to spend half the time of quarantine or will they have to spend no quarantine? That is what is being determined now. But most definitely what has already been determined and qualified is that being vaccinated uh, prevents you from having severe symptoms of the disease, which means once you are vaccinated, the disease is no longer life-threatening to you. Um, and that is the first initiative. That is what we, Grenada, and the rest of the world, every single country in the world, is racing to do for their citizens to ensure that you vaccinate enough of your citizens so enough of your citizens are no, to have their lives no longer threatened by the, the vaccine, by the virus, sorry, so that we can get back to normal. Um, as we proceed with that, if from the UK, from Israel, from the US, information is now beginning be to, to flow because enough people are vaccinated in those countries as to how quickly the virus dies in a vac vaccinated person.